Good morning guys. It is Wednesday and I thought I would take you guys through a week what I'm doing and my rides and my lessons and horsey stuff. It's about seven and I'm just coming to feed these guys and check on the babies and I gotta run out and do some training rides. I have an appointment today, but then the babies are gonna go outside and I probably will do some cleaning up today. Usually I end up doing a lot of chores around the house. A fuck some. Good morning. If I look tired, it's because I am. Tuesday nights are really late nights for me to I don't get home. I didn't get in the door last night until like 10.30, but today should be a lot easier. I do a ton of driving and I listen to so many podcasts. I like feeling like I'm learning something. I listen to a lot of like financial podcasts, personal development podcasts, entrepreneurial podcasts, manifestation podcasts. Tell me if you have any favorite podcasts. <laughs> I think I have time to just quickly grab a couple bags of grain and whip home and make it to my appointment. My other ride this morning was canceled, so that's nice for me. <laughs> Taken out, and I just briefly checked the horses. And I'm just making myself some breakfast quick. Can I be home? Yes. So I'm probably gonna do my final clean of the fields before the winter, so fun time. I have made it back home, and this is the drill. I see my naturopath get B12 shots, putting me on a bunch of different other kinds of supplements. Since last year, and for a long time, I've been feeling not like myself and very much. Uh, having and dealing with a bunch of different symptoms. It's a bit of a process, but I definitely feel like it helps how I can kind of be more optimal with my health. I'm just gonna go toss some hay, um, some second cut down. Not gonna lie to you guys, weaning is stressful. I just don't wanna leave them unattended. It's supposed to be nice weather Friday, Saturday. So I'm hoping they can do full days outside by then. I think the wind, that factor alone is making everybody a little more excited today. I would call it a, a short, small little success for today. <laughs> I also gave them makeovers and they look so cute. This won't switch over, hold on. And I'm gonna clean our stalls and that's it for tonight. Also all clean and fluffy. You, yes. Guys, it is, I don't even know. I just finished my morning ride. I'm gonna run home and do stalls, do several rides today and then lesson. So it's a longer day and my car hasn't been starting. Guys. Checking in, I had to do some administrative stuff. Wow. Oh, I just did that as fast as I could and I quick tidied the house. Horses are all good for this afternoon. And I need to run to get my rides done before lessons. Today's ride outside. Paul has not been outside before, so he's relatively new here. It's done for the night. Just checking on the horses that were ridden tonight, making sure nobody forgot. Sweat mark, she blankets. I have to hook my keys on me like a child because I lose them everywhere. Hello, my friend. How you doing? Hi, it's just me. You're okay. Hey, buddy. I gotta clean you. It's nice and warm out. You're acting too scared. You're okay. 
luncheon, and a Gordy. <laughs> guys stalls and that'll be <laughs> a big chunk of my <laughs> when you don't look in the mirror and then walk by some reflection the fields are all clean the horses are all content Mac was nagging me to get outside and there's a couple things that I wanted to work on Jeff went to pick up furniture that we ordered for the house too, which is super exciting because it's been months. So hopefully we can put some of that together. I'm gonna try to clean all the horses since it's uh, so nice out today. After I went to Florida this year, ladies who does body work on horses have brought a Hypervolt gun. I couldn't help but go out and get one. I use this almost every day, which I'm not sure if it's like a healthy thing or not, but I have so much back pain. I don't know if this, like massaging the muscle ends up kind of numbing it. It actually helps loosen it up, but I just snuck away from the dogs and I'm gonna massage my back for like five minutes. <laughs> Happy Saturday. What are you doing? Checking if there was a better pile over here. Beautiful. So I will just let these guys eat their breakfast. Hi, good morning. But last night, this is what we did all night. Took a lot of <laughs> a lot of work to get it in here. How cozy is that? So we have spent most of the day doing leaves. I know, super fun. Insane amount of leaves on this property. This is essentially our leaves pile. An entire lawn full of leaves. Pile. Morning guys, it's Sunday. The babies went out quite quietly this morning. I'm off to lessons and I have about 12, 13 hours of work back to back today. So it's a busy day. Um, Hi. Right leg. Light in the seat. That's better. I don't want to see it so far behind. Right squeeze. She always has a little extra space. Good job. Yeah. Whoa. Three. Got there. Lengthen your rein a little, and just get him to reach. Good, good. Right leg, left brain. Yeah. So it is 4.30 and I finished my lesson and rides here. I have to drive to another place and I have a lesson slash ride there. What helmets do you guys ride in? I have a huge line on my head every time. I have a mist shield. If anybody has good recommendations on helmet brands, I love the Sam Shield. Tell me what helmet is a good investment. Good, and let's do a circle at this end here. Hey, I'm on my way out. I will see you guys when I get home. So everybody's put away. I'm going to go do night check, FaceTime, Danielle. So you can see Ozzy. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Oh, that one's stuck in your mouth. Morning, guys. It's Monday. You gotta go pee. It's nice and light this morning. I think we're in for some nasty weather this week. And I have a lesson this morning and then about four rides today. <laughs> Lunch Quinn Saturday, I thought, ah, oh, well, what the heck? His hawk is 
like scabbed over. It's not really pocketing anymore. Essentially a healed wound. And I pulled his shoes when I brought him home and he looked so good, beautiful, especially I know that the shoes make him move a little bit different, but I didn't realize how much different. But this isn't really a cute look for me, but I just don't even have the time or patience to put makeup on anymore. <laughs> Stay balanced and then get his body straight. Waiting, hold. Yeah. Right, Rain? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was so cute. Good job. cleaned and stocked the barn. done the horses and I'm just cleaning the house. Max helping my life. No. Uh, Rent a pleasant bridge. I got bit yesterday on my thigh and oh boy does it ever hurt. Guys. Yeah. I have quite a few lessons this afternoon and into the evening. Guys, still Tuesday, still here. I've actually spent my morning organizing vet appointments and for your appointment, work stuff. I'm probably gonna have another hour at least of work here. Guys, I completely forgot to take videos of my lessons tonight, but everything went good quarter after nine and I'm going to head home. Probably end up getting home at quarter after 10. I have an early ride tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed that week in my life. We had a relatively quiet weaning this fall. I'm happy that everybody settled in. Hendrix is left to his new home at this point. If you haven't followed on Instagram, I'm releasing the Horse Girl Boss Guidebook on Friday, Black Friday, and I'll have it available until Cyber Monday. It'll be on my website, which is Spring and Eck. Dot com. Hope you guys get the opportunity to look at it, use it. If you're interested in starting an equestrian business or a product or service business that has to do with equestrian things, it's kind of the thing for you to start. I love it. I'm really happy about it. And I hope that you guys get to enjoy it too.